Where, where does he break? Right now, Anthony Davis is one, two, three, four, five. He's sixth in defensive player of the year odds. That's odds, man. What do you think? Well, I mean, like number wise, number, it, numbers. I mean, it depends what what numbers are you looking for. Where's he at? What, what's, his, what's his defensive rating? What's his defensive rating? What, where does he rank? Defensive rating. Where's he rank in defensive win shares. No, there we go. Defensive win shares. So, yeah. Sorry, Mike. Okay. I can't just get it. Okay, now I'm going to share the screen because I don't want y'all to be thinking I'm bullshitting or <laughs> look. <laughs> defensive rating leaders. I'm going to start with the defensive rating, and then we we'll go get into defensive win shares. Rudy Gobert has the best defensive uh defensive rating. He got a 104. Jerry Allen got a 108. Hartenstein, 108. Car Anthony Towns got a goddamn 109. He actually been good on defense. It's not cap. Uh Chet Holmgren got a one on got a 109 basically. Anthony Davis is behind Donovan Mitchell. Where's J Dub? You nasty. <laughs> but sometimes I don't be getting the, the defensive ratings and the right. defensive win share shit like that, though. I feel you. I don't necessarily understand all the way. But. See, they don't even. Okay. Just put in defensive win shares and, and take out leaders. So, offensive of rebounds, defensive rebounds, blocks, field goal percentage, field goal truth for shooting. But, Ray, you keep on making your argument because you ain't made an argument to why he should be in the defensive player of your conversation. Bro, he's. He's what? Mm. Yeah, well, yeah. He even he didn't want to hear that nonsense. What? He's I'm third gonna, in defensive uh, insurance. The funny thing is, though, DJ, when we had our conversation on the phone, when I start bringing up what he individually does versus what the team does defensively, is two totally different arguments. What he brings to the table individually, you can clearly see, when he misses a game, you are gonna see how just the defense really go. I don't care how bad you think they are defensively, when he's not there at all, you gonna it's gonna easily be failed. But I'm saying this is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter because even when Go he's Bears there, they're a, not good. I'm saying Go Bears on a team where they're an all around good defensive team. He's not anchoring a defense. Quick you can't anchor here. a defense where the whole team is good defensively. That's impossible. Anchoring defense is I can make up for your shortcomings on defense. I got that. They he, play not, he not, he not, he not, he defense, so. Huh? They know they got a rim protector behind them that allows them no, to be aggressive on the perimeter. Y'all confusing. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, yes. every, that's what's expected of every big in the paint. That's not the same thing as anchoring a defense. Anchoring a defense is if you're not that great defensively, mm-hmm. I will make up for that. He was Thank doing you, that in Utah. That. He did that huh? in Utah. That's Nobody what, in Utah exactly. Was that was in Utah. In He's Minnesota, doing the, that's not the same thing. That's so the same you can't thing. you can't discredit him because he got actually got good perimeter defenders and they blow out everybody in the but water. I, but guess what I can do? I can't can credit AD for that because he don't have that much great uh what's called perimeter defenders that's out there consistently because they've been hurt. And most y'all are not a good defense. You trying to give him credit? For, and still, okay. he is he's he's top three Thank in defense Lord. one shares. And still, he's top ten in deep. What's called defense net rating. So what you're saying ain't making sense. It's not adding up. How is he still top ten with a bad defense team around him? His numbers should plunder too. Then I don't care how good you are. That's because your you, team is that bad. That defense of win shares. I think that's no, bullshit. That you know, An that estimate you know, of the number of wins you know how much more muscle. That lets you know how much more muscle he's pulling compared to these other guys who are on but, good defensive teams. But what is it contributing to? What is it? That's this is my thing. Are we going to just put him in a defensive player of the year conversation because he's the best player on defense on a sorry ass defensive team or a middle of the pack defensive team? 
And if you take him off, there'll be a terrible why? defensive team. Why is, is that worth number, being in a defense? Why is his number defense? so good? Why is his number so good if he's just the best on a bad defense team? Bro, more my thing. Okay. What, what, hold on a second. Explain to me what, defense wins. Who else on this list? Who else on this list on a bad on a bad team? I don't see nobody on a bad team that's on this list. He the only one out there. So what so what are we doing here? Name me another bad player. Bad play on the team. How like Perrin single on top ten on this? Stop it. Okay. That man is not. You said so you got two number? people. You got two people out of twenty five. That's crazy. Victor Wimbayama is fourteen. He's on one of the worst teams in the league. He's a generational defense talent too, right? Oh my god. What are we doing? What you here? saying? Oh my god! Don't he don't what does this mean? Don't he lead the whole league in blocks? Don't he lead the league in blocks? Don't he lead the league in steals with rookies? It's said so. I'm okay. You're not telling me how Anthony Davis should be in defensive player of the year talks. What puts you in defensive player of the year talks? A top 10 defense, oh, I mean, a no. good team. No, he's not. He's so, you're not trying to credit a talk. team defensive effort for a single person on defensive effort. They don't, that's okay. Not, look, they let's look it. at the last, that's let's look at the last it. uh defensive player. That's of the year not game. how they judge it. Okay, let's see. You judging it? Go ahead, look, Chris. I want you to speak your piece. Are you are you saying defensive player of the year should be going only to the best defensive player on the best team defense, I'm not saying or the best be overall a, defensive player? It should be uh, the best defensive player on an actual good defense. <laughs> look, okay, let's look. So. so so if you no, gotta, let's look, let's look, let's look. In 2023, Jaron Jackson won, Evan Mobley, and Brooke Lopez. Which one of them was on a bad defense? Or even a middle pack defense? No, they always on top 10 defenses. Marcus Smart, Rudy Gobert, Mikael Bridges. Cleveland Who was, was on a bad defense. defense last year? Who? Cleveland. Yes. Yeah, they're a good defense. Mm, yes, they are. I guess. It did translate. They just couldn't score either. Uh, 2022, Marcus Smart, Rudy Gobert, Mikael Bridges. Who's on a bad defense? Okay. 21, Rudy Gobert, Draymond Green, Ben Simmons. Hold on a second. The Suns was hurt all um, all year last year, and he played with the uh, next 2022, season. the year before last year. I guess. Oh, you is a nasty dude, bro. So Jaron Jackson, twenty three. We just going off your word. I'm not about to look this. I'm not about to look all this up to see if, if the Suns was a top ten defensive team. Okay, let's let's look it up. Cause here here we go with the issue. Here. No, let's focus on what the Lakers are this year. Since you want to say they they uh my, my thing is. Thing. Okay, let's 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 do it. If, if this is what we doing. The Lakers' problem is not necessarily defense; is they can't score all the time. They don't have consistent scoring. Lakers team. What was that you was on? What, what was I think that? No, what was you Look, on no, that, no, on no. last no. week when you was looking up the difference defense um, rankings for uh, all the teams in the league? This is where I'm on team rankings. Okay. Look, LA defense, opponent points per game. Screen, screen froze. You see there it? You mm-hmm. Okay. Defense, these are the the uh LA defense rankings. Opponent points per game. Once they give up 117 points per game. That's 18th. Average scoring margin, 0. 0.6, whatever that means. They're 19th. Fast break points, they're 26th. Uh, opponent, I don't know if that's good or bad. Opponent fast break points per game, it might be good. I can't that's tell. Not bad. Opponent points in the paint per game, middle of the pack. Opponent six per game, 20th. Rebound, like the defensive rankings, okay, shooting stats. Effective field goal percentage, they 16th. The free throw shit, they second, so that's good. Free throw percentage, I don't even see how that's defense. Three point percentage, they're 20th. They give up 37% from three. Two point percentage, they're 11th. That's solid. Opponent shooting percentage, they're 13th. Everything is damn near middle of the pack. Three point made per game, they're 28th. 
like think they're a bad, they're an average or bad defense, right? He gave up 31 first quarter points. It's 28th in the league. I'm trying to see they good at blocks. <laughs> they top 10 in blocks because of AD, I'm sure. They don't get no steals. They don't hardly get no turnovers. So I'm okay, trying to so see what. So Anthony Davis is putting up a lot of good defensive stats and having to carry a team that is not necessarily helping. That's the definition of a, of anchoring a defense. Not will go. But what is, what is he but carrying? Go, but they gonna, they gonna, is he carrying the thing is, the thing is, it, DJ, you you confusing you confusing what I know about. No, hold on, say you confusing yeah. what I know about how they're going to judge it versus how I'm just looking at it. I'm looking at it from my perspective as AD is hands down the best defender out there. It's nobody better than him out there defensively. But what you're looking at it from is the standpoint of well, let me go to the defensive stats for the team. And then no. you try to prove to me why, I just he's watch not, the Lakers. why he's not. Do you watch the Lakers and think that's a good defensive team? I just – did you not see what I just said? But I'm saying, <laughs> how you going to give him defensive player to your consideration on a bad defense regardless of how he's playing? That's what I'm saying. I get Anthony Davis is a generational defender, but we go reward him for being a generational defender on a bad defense regardless of what he's contributing to it? over guys that are contributing to great defenses on playoff teams and they playing great as well. So who who your top four? Because um, I asked you the other day, and you couldn't come up with four because uh, you were trying to hold out and not say AD name. I know that was the um, the fact, but I, you had more time to think about it. Can I just keep it real? Can I just keep it real? Two, you only can name two people. So name me, name me on the other two now that you came up with. Can I just I keep it real? The best defenders I've seen. Mm-hmm. In the NBA, the best defenders I've seen in the NBA just on just keeping it real. I I get on Chet Holmgren ass, but that that dude he's been crazy when it comes to rim protection. Anthony Davis hasn't been a better rim protector than uh, Chet Holmgren. Mm-hmm. Jay, I think Herb Jones to me, I think he's the best perimeter defender in the NBA. I think Rudy Gobert, he's just the best defensive player on the best defensive team. They got to account for something, and. Like I've been saying, Derek White has been playing damn near on a defensive player of the year level. You can't cap. <laughs> oh, here, here we go. Here we go. All right. I'm not saying they better than Anthony no Davis. Ain't no way you taking Derek White as a defender over Anthony Davis, man. Come on. This no, this is an award for this season. I'm this not I'm scoring the award like that. What are your top four defensive players? You cannot say it without saying Anthony Davis. Have name. So, okay, not who are the best? On who what the best? So, so who are so your who best? best defenders? I would say, in no order, you would say Anthony Davis, Herb Jones. I say because you got to look at perimeter defense. You got to look at rim protection. Chet Holmgren and Victor Wimbayama, they in there too. Jalen Suggs, I'm glad, I think Jalen. I'm glad you brought up Chet because AD put on the average 28 on his head in, in three games so far. So everybody that you name off, that's that so called great. They don't put the same numbers up that AD put up against them. So now you bring in his offense. Did you did you watch Minnesota? This dude bring up. We talk about, talk about Cat too, who put up 62 this year. Did you see that game? Those two games that AD shut down both Go Bear. And a and what's going and uh, cat then went on the other end and destroyed both of them at the same time. So what do you want to start? We talk about uh, we talk about the Spurs too when he cooked them and then sat out the next game and then, and then somehow the Spurs end up winning when he don't play. We can talk about that too. So everybody that you gonna match up against him, he's made them look like barbecue chicken on offense on both ends. He's been better than them. Oh on both shit. Ends. Heck, oh, shit. Like barbecue, barbecue chicken. chicken. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> barbecue say, uh, chicken alert. I'm say putting up 30, if I'm putting up 30, you put up try- 15, am I not cooking you on, on – am, am I not making you not Bro. able to do what I'm doing against you? Hey, Ray, that sounds like a 4th of July barbecue to me. This is what I'm going to say. And then I'm going I'm to let, let y'all two Chris's – y'all go, hey, it is what it is. But I'm going to say this. <laughs> we all know Anthony Dave is a generational talent when it comes to defense. But what does that got to do with this year's defensive player of the year award? His defense is average. The team he's on sucks. 
So yeah, it's just like when Bradley, Bradley Bill. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just like when Bradley Bill was in Washington, averaging thirty. What does that thirty mean? If Anthony Davis is having an all defensive year on a bad defense on a bad team, what does that defense mean? I feel you on okay, that. So hold on. When, I feel you on that part, though. No, no, no. When Bradley Beal is averaging 30, are people not saying he's one of the best scorers in the league? Yes or no? Man, niggas wasn't talking about Bradley No, Beal. yes or no. Is no he one nobody wasn't talking about it. People were they were saying, was they were saying it was game. empty stats. Chris, come on now. They were saying that shit was empty stats, bro. Empty calories. In real time, they, they wasn't. Now we look back and say that, but in real time, people are saying, man, he got snubbed. Man, when they was wasn't the making the playoffs, when he didn't make it's, the all star game, when okay. nobody ended up it on it's Trey Young, a very talented offensive player, and he would have been out of the all star game. I, yes, oh, oh wait, wait, it, do you still we consider don't him a good loser. Offensive player? I don't care what you're doing, we don't, that, no, 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 that you, don't have nothing to do with your talent as an offensive player. That doesn't have no. Deal. I gave y'all a perfect example. Bradley Beal averaged thirty. Didn't make the playoffs. Missed the All Star game. Didn't get no accolades for that empty. Bro, we know when. He got when no accolades. But does that mean he's not a good? That's not. He's not top at what he does at scoring. What was he? What accolades was he up for? Should he have been up for? Okay, so accolades are the only way to. Uh, he's are the only way to be trying to get defensive player of the year. Uh, okay, my bad. Anthony Davis must suck at defense since he's not in in the I'm top five. I said That's he's what a you said. You said he was average. You said he's been average this year, which is crazy to no, say. No, I, did, I didn't say he's been average. I did not Ray, say that. Come on, man. He, Ray, he did say that. I said he's average. I said he's been average. You said yeah. he's been average. You probably say the team been average, but you said Anthony. Davis I said he's on an average defense. No, you said his that. defense has oh, been average. No, he didn't say average. He said, what does it matter? He said, what does it matter? He said, what does it matter if a player is playing good defense, but the actual defense is um, average? Chris, you can't bet. You can't, you can't bet at the wrong time. He said, oh my I God. promise you, he said. I promise you. I promise you. When I brought it here, I didn't have nothing to say. I didn't hear that. I did. You said, I hold on a second, because you said he's been average. And I came, I said, how is he average when he's top three to ten in every defensive stat? And that's when you try to clean it up. And what, say, what defensive stat what matters that mean, when you're playing team defense? basketball? Ain't basketball a team sport? No, look, hold on. No, we're talking about defensive stats. Hold on. Hold on, hold, on, hold, on. hold on. I'm bringing up the team defense. Y'all oh t- talking about an individual. Bruh. The only time, the only time you're gonna try to use that argument on what's called ain't basketball team sport when it comes to team awards, defense player of the year, MVP, only one person can get that award. The team don't get that award. Of course, who the gets person MVPs wins it going on, to a credit their team. On a sorry team. Yeah. Uh, no who gets defense player of year awards on a sorry defense or average defense? I feel you. I agree. Oh. Found some shit I love to do, so I can't look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I would never quit. 